Okay, so <clears throat> excuse me. Since the um, since the potential in this uh, case is again time independent, so you can see that here I've haven't written. There's not a time uh, there's not a time dependent part of the potential. So we're assuming that this potential is static. Um, then we use the time independent Schrodinger equation, okay, which I've written right here minus h bar squared over 2m second derivative of psi with respect to second derivative of the temp of the spatial part of psi with respect to x plus the potential times psi is equal to e times psi okay so remember this uh, this minus h bar squared over 2m d squared over dx squared plus u of x that's the that's the uh, um, Hamiltonian operator that we discussed in the last lecture and we can rewrite this uh, just to make it uh, more clear and compare it to general solutions to differential equations of this form. We basically isolate the second derivative on the left side and then um, we get this form over here. All right, so so this is our so this is this is uh, the statement basically of our uh, of our Schrodinger equation and uh, what we want to do now to find general solutions is that we want to compare this form to uh, to general to, to to the general form d square f of x by dx squared is equal to b f of x and you see that our our um, um, our uh, Schrodinger equation follows the same general form where now b would be equal to 2m over h bar squared u minus e and uh, psi of x would be f of x. Okay, and the general form of these so the general forms of of the solutions to this uh, differential equation uh, are, are are shown here, or at least two of them are shown here. So when b is less than zero, okay. So in this case, when this term here, two m over h bar squared u of x minus e is less than zero, then we get uh, sine we get oscillatory solutions. So we get a sine square root of the abs of the magnitude of b x plus b cosine square root of absolute uh, of uh, magnitude of b times x. Okay. Again, that's when b is equal to is less than zero. <clears throat> when b is greater than zero, we get these exponential uh, solutions: a e to the plus root b x plus b e to the minus root b x. Since b is positive here, you don't have to put the absolute value signs. Okay. And so these are the these are the um, these are the solutions. Uh, the general form of, of solutions of this form uh, when you uh, uh, for under these conditions b is less than zero b is greater than zero so in our case in region one okay that's between the potential walls so that's where u uh, is equal to zero okay then uh, that means this term goes to zero and we have b is equal to minus 2me over h bar squared, and since the mass is positive, the energy is positive as you defined it, um, then we have that uh, b is equal to uh, b is negative in this case. Okay, uh, as uh, as is obvious from this. So, um, to just to help us write the solution in a little bit easier form, uh, we remember that the energy in this term, uh, so the energy is equal to p squared over 2m. It's just the kinetic energy, if you remember. This is a non-relativistic particle um, and the potential energy is zero. And we can rewrite that if you remember from um, um, de Broglie's relationships. p is equal to h bar k. So this is h bar squared k squared over 2m. And we can uh, re, re, uh, we can solve this, this equation for k okay k squared and this is what we're left with and so what we see is if we plug this back in 2me over h bar squared is just equal to k squared okay so in this case this gen generic b is equal to minus k squared and again it's uh, as we already said it's negative and so the solutions are the oscillatory ones and so we have uh, psi of x is equal to a sine kx plus b cosine kx okay and so whenever you have this situation where uh, uh, you have this generic form of the of the um, of a second order differential equation where you have the second derivative with respect to the space uh, to res respect to one dimension is equal to some constant times that uh, times that function right back and where b is negative then you're going to get these oscillatory solutions Okay. And so just like in the infinite potential well, inside the, in, the, in the finite potential well, we get wiggles, we get oscillatory solutions. 